Hey guys, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. When you think about the threat of a Trump 2.0, uh, like there's all of Trump's crazy plans and all of Project 2025 that we do have to worry about. Uh, but to me, I think the most ominous thing is these crazy, insane little fascists that he's going to have around him that feel like they have carte blanche to do whatever they want outside the law, inside the law, targeting foes. Um, so I want to highlight a couple of them really quick. Um, the, the news story that I think is the most astonishing uh, from the past week is this. It's conservative political activist Ivan Raiklin. He was a uh, ex-military. Uh, he is MAGA. He attends a lot of these MAGA events. Uh, he has uh, proclaimed himself to be Donald Trump's secretary of retribution. And he's passing around a plan to arrest politicians, police officers, and journalists that were disloyal to the former president. Uh, the tar- deep state target list, that he calls it, includes high-ranking Democrats and Republicans, uh, the U.S. Capitol Police. Uh, I thought this was a back the blue, guys, but that's an aside, I guess. Officials at the FBI, witnesses in Trump's impeachment trials, and journalists like us. So, look... Is this guy going to be able to go out there and start, you know, randomly doing citizens arrests? No, probably not. Um, But here is here's what we do know that he's doing. He is going to these gatherings of the constitutional sheriffs, which is an Orwellian name if there ever was one. Um, uh, These are going to be the most MAGA sheriffs that want to um, go outside the law, go up to the edge of the law uh, to target migrants, to target journalists, to target Um, anybody that is seen as an enemy of the state is an enemy of the people as an enemy of Trump. Um, and, and so he's recruiting these guys, um, and showing them the list and, and based on this reporting, um, which came out of raw story, you know, some of them are, are, you know, at least saying that they're not going to go along with this, which is good, but it only takes a few to be attracted to this type of retribution. And this is where things get really dicey. We talked about this a little bit with David French on yesterday's podcast, um, Donald Trump now, thanks to the Supreme Court, if he gets back in there, is going to assume that he has total immunity for any official acts that he d- makes as president. One of those official acts is the pardon power. And so Donald Trump has already said that he's going to pardon the January 6th rioters that he calls hostages. And he's already said that he would pardon immigration officials um, who you know, got, were targeted by police for any activities that they engaged in in securing the border. You have to assume he would also dangle that pardon out there for pro-MAGA constitutional sheriffs. So what does that mean? Does that mean that Jake Tapper's going to jail? I don't know. No. But it means that these sheriffs are going to feel like they, if they want to be in Trump's good graces, if they want to get famous, like the Secretary of Retribution in conservative media outlets and get get you know booked on Fox and Newsmax and Steve Bannon show that they can go out and and on trumped up charges pun intended target enemies of the former president and they know that if if anyone tries to hold them accountable for that then Donald Trump will bail them out with his pardon power And to me, when you look at all of the things that are happening together, the most pernicious part of Trump 2.0 isn't even what Trump would do. It is the fact that he um, now is protected from any accountability. He will send a message out to his people that he will protect them from accountability. And so they are free to be their worst selves. Um. That is a recipe for disaster, and that is a re- recipe for danger. Um, one other thing on this, it's, it's kind of related. You know, you, you see these things, and sometimes it's hard to judge. Like, how seriously do we take the Secretary of Retribution, Ivan Raikland? And and the thing is, and a lot of times I would say, oh, these guys are just, this is all just hot air, you know? Um, but with Trump, he likes to keep the craziest freaks around him. Earlier this week, uh, we talked about that rally at Doral in a different video. Um, Here he is at that rally in Doral calling out Laura Loomer. A friend of all of ours and this woman is amazing. Laura Loomer. Where is she? Where is Laura? She is amazing. 
Now, Laura Loomer, if you don't know her, she has said that she wants a white ethno state. She has said that she's Islamophobe. She made her whole career, if you want to call it that. She she got all this recognition in far right media world by um, being the most heinous and the most cruel towards Muslims and, and, and advancing the worst rhetoric and advancing all of these lies. Uh, you know, anytime there's a, a mass shooting or a tragedy, you know, trying to blame it, Islam or Muslims on it, even in cases where like the perpetrator wasn't even Muslim. She gets a shout out from the stage by the guy that is currently leading the polls to be the next president. I, I just think that puts this whole Ivan Raikland thing in context, right? Because Trump wants to empower these people. Trump sometimes doesn't want to get his hands dirty, those tiny little hands. Uh, but he wants to empower these extremists, these crazies, to go out and you know go buck wild, go out and target ma- enemies of MAGA, um, go out and target Muslims, go out and target migrants. That is what would be happening in a second Trump term. The danger wouldn't just be coming from the White House. It'd be coming from... All of these little nodes out all over the country. Um, And that's something we're going to keep monitoring here at the Bulwark. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the feed. Uh, We will be back. Uh, We'll have so much next week. So much during the RNC convention. Uh, So keep an eye on this page. We'll see you all soon. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts. uh, You get bonus newsletters. You get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.